Welcome students. Under ethology, today we are going to discuss about animal behavior. So let us first learn about what is animal behavior and what do we mean by animal behavior. Hello students, do you want to excel in maths and science? We have some don't memorize courses for you which can help you in preparation of maths and science. I have given the links in the description and you can avail 90% of the discount from all these courses. And if you will use this coupon code, you will get extra 10% discount on all the courses. Don't memorize courses are part of Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. So animal behavior is the scientific study of the interactions of animal with each other, with other living beings and with environment. So when one animal particularly will interact with its surrounding, its environment and with other living beings. So in those specific situation, the derived observations are termed as animal behavior. Now, under animal behavior, what all things we are going to explore? Then they are physical environment of animal, how they find and how they defend their resources, how they avoid their predators, how they choose mates, how they reproduce and how they are taking care of young ones. So all this study includes animal behavior. Now how animal psychology and anatomy are integrated with its behavior. It's all comprises of animal behavior. Now under animal behavior scientists have include both the prompt behavior that external and internal stimuli. So external stimuli include sound, smell, threat from other animal and weather. What all external factors are there are coming under external stimuli. Whereas the internal stimuli covers the hunger and fear like factors. So scientists are drawn to the study of animal behavior for varied reasons. And the field is broad ranging from feeding behavior to habitat selection, then mating behavior and social organizations. So all this variety of the behaviors, all these varieties of behavior when we are compiling and we are drawing some observations and conclusion that is known as animal behavior. Now we are going to study about four different types of animal behavior. So in this video we are going to learn four basic animal behavior and they are instinct, imprinting, conditioning and imitations. Scientists have studied animal behavior for various reasons from feeding to habitat and drawn some of the conclusions. So based on that we are going to learn this four animal behavior. What are they? Instinct means need not to be learned. That means they already knew that via their instinct. They already know that. Those kind of behaviors. Second, imprinting. They will recognize their parents behavior and start following those in their life. That means imprinting. Second, conditioning. Response to stimulus. So in this topic we are going to learn what is a stimulus response and what is a response to stimulus. Imitation means animal copies other animal. So now let us start with first one and that is instinct. So let us first talk about their instinct behavior. They do not need to learn this behavior. They know it. They know it by their birth. So this behavior can be complex like making nests, choosing mates or forming a group for protection. All these things they already knew. For example, web spinning by a spider. So why it is an instinct behavior? Because a spider does not learn how to spin its web. It is born with the knowledge of spinning, so it is instinctual behavior. So this behavior is known as instinctual behavior, but this is known as instinct, which animal already knew it and they do not need to learn it. Our second topic is imprinting. For example, duckling. They follow the first moving object they meet after hatching. So they become socially attached to this object and they follow them for their food and protection. This will be useful if they will first see their mother. They can follow their mother for her behavior, for the food, for the protection. But scientists have observed some of the imprinting that duckling has made it on the people, balls and in some of the cases they have made imprinting on the cardboard boxes also. If they see 
all this object first after hatching then they imprinting this object and they will follow this object and they will follow this objects for food and protection so always imprinting is useful when the duckling or the young ones will follow their mother so then only it is useful for their food for protection and their coming days and for their future behavior if they are imprinting the wrong objects then it might not be useful our third animal behavior is conditioning so so it is a type of behavior involving a response to stimulus this behavior is learned behavior and with the experience they have learned something they have gained the knowledge via past experiences so this kind of behaviors are coming under conditioning example that ringing a bell in a school so as the bell rings at a different period of time student will behave accordingly for example when school will start and bell will ring student will start prayer when school will end and bell will ring student will leave the school premises and go to their home their behavior will change this is a learned behavior and it is according to the situation it is from the past experience and they have learned this behavior and that's why it is coming under conditioning ivan pavlov was a russian scientist who investigated this conditioning behavior in animal he studied two cases for the dog first case he took with the person that with the same person at the same time will go to dog and he will feed him so the dog eventually got to know that this person is coming and this person is the person who is feeding me after some time after he learned this behavior that this person is a person who is feeding me whenever he will see that person the extra saliva will secrete from his mouth so this behavior was conditioning behavior and second case he observed with a bell that first he will ring the bell and then he will feed the dog so after some period of time when dog learned this behavior he started ringing the bell at unusual time and at the time when there was no time for to feed the dog at that time also whenever the dog has listened that bell has rang at that time dog has secreted extra saliva so this behavior that dog will secrete extra saliva from their mouth whenever they are feeling hungry or whenever they are about to eat that behavior has been conditioned with the person that behavior has been conditioned with the bill that this dog has learned over a past experiences and past ex past behavior that this person is coming so this person is going to feed me so by seeing that person only the extra saliva will be secreted from the dog's mouth by listening the bell sound the extra saliva will be secreted from its mouth so this behavior are from the past experiences and this behavior are learned behavior another example is electrical fans that is grazing animals or for the sheep we have seen that when a vast field or grazing field will be there they will be covered with electrical fence if any sheep will have unpleasant shock or unpleasant electrical shock even if one time also they will be careful for the next time in the future even if the electricity is off they will stay away from the electric fence because they have learned from their past behavior from the past experiences that this experience is unpleasant and they should not go there they this experience might harm them so in next time whenever the electricity is not passing also they will be careful and they will not touch the fence so this kind of behavior is coming with experience and they have learned this kind of behavior and that's why it is known as conditioning behavior fourth animal behavior is imitation it is a type of behavior where one animal copies another animal for example humans we know that humans often imitate other humans so that imitation same we can see in animal behavior also for example chimpanzees and other primates imitating each other 
So first, scientist Kohler has made an observation that chimpanzees can use sticks for juicy grubs to eat. Now other chimpanzees have observed this and they also started imitating this chimpanzee. So this behavior is a learned behavior. They have learned new skill via observation and with the experience. So this skill is experienced one. This skill is learned one. Then parrots can also speak the words. So these are the learned skill and they are learning with their experiences. So these skills are learned skill and they are learning it via imitating other animal or imitating other humans. So these were the four animal behavior and they were instinct, imprinting, conditioning and imitations. Some of the skills they already knew with the birth, they need not to be learned. And some of the skills they will learn with their experiences, with their past experiences and some of the skills they will learn via imitation by following other animals. Hope you have understood the concept well. If you have any doubt, you can comment down below. Follow us for more useful content.